What's going on, this is Johnny, and welcome back to episode number 16 of the oh, GTA 5 dispute. campaign. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Yes, anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Yeah, thank Bye. God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. <laughs> sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater. Some kind of a killer and a thief! So? So, there's some, uh, evidence. And I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey, it's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. I don't trust these guys, man. To be honest. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. I do not trust these dudes to do what they're going to say. Like, I trust them in the sense of, like... Parking lot no, I don't. <laughs> I just, I don't. I don't trust them at all. Excuse Sorry, me. You got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that going to get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. They're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. I've got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. And we'll follow him and see what we think. Sounds good. Let's do Here it. We are. Let's wait for him. Wait for the janitor's car. I'm not gonna lie to you, I already forgot the number, so. Here we go. That's not it. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Something's that, coming. That it? This is not the car we're looking for. So this what is we do? Not the car we're no, looking what can for. we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. That's gotta be it. it. Uh, not our guy. Nope. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Come on. This has got to be out uh, here. That's the one. Stay behind him, but don't let him see you. So 
what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy How, euphemism. Why are you going for it? Plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. I mean, honestly, this is more suspicious than anything, to be honest. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work-related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're going to need more than a janitor's license plate number. And let me work on some angles while you uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. So far, so good. God, these rams are horrible looking. I don't know whose idea it was to have these, but never again. <laughs> Dollar side. Gonna follow this guy. These fucking lights change so fast. It was just green. Now it's that one's like a mealy red. Now this is more freaking suspicious than anything. If I saw someone do this behind their car, I'd be like, uh, what? Hey man, he's pulling over. Stop down the road a ways. Hey man, what's up? Okay. Pulling inside the garage. Time to make Harvey an offer. Feel him out. All right, here we go. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. The only one she needs something. Jesus. I don't think we can get too close to him. So I'm just gonna kind of follow him a little bit here. And go from there, because I don't want to spook the guy. Okay, he's going up. Follow Jenner into his apartment. You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. You'll fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this. But you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Huh. Actually, I don't know about you, but I don't think I'd be showing my face. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just wouldn't. It's not my cup of tea. Successful? Oh, yeah. Take me back to the factory. But I got the bag, my guy. Of course, it was successful. Up! Ah! Hey man. That was easy. He came out of nowhere. Right. Oh, I can't. Is a shitty boss. Ah. I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? <gasps> oh, man, I'm full. Information gathering. What information? Uh. Plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is LS Bay, so Damn it. Frank could tail him, take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much. Government contracts, license to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken There's the wrong Frankie, contracts. There's Frankie, Frank. Ah, he's already here. 
Nice. Yo, Franklin! My guy! Are you, are you in here? Hey, what's the problem, dog? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dog. It's either this or Dylan dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Thanks. We need to find got that something point. about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans. But they're not online anywhere, so I'm going to need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip... Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Go ahead and save it. Cleaning out the bureau. Is it cleaning or clearing? Just one of the two. Okay. I'm assuming we could probably go back to Michael's house. Well, we also have a Solomon one as well. But I have a feeling the Michael one's probably more important, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the Michael one first. And we're gonna try to beat this uh, game this week, so <clears throat> be on the lookout for that. And then we're gonna be starting another game that I'm actually super excited about. I've been waiting on it for a while and kind of put piecing stuff together here and there. I did most of it last year, but you guys will be uh, seeing that game here soon. Alright, here we go. Reunion and the family. Looks, looks like syrup. <laughs> nice little nap. Hey. But <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? <laughs> that might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in this so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And and secondly, He's like, huh? I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job. Because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. 
I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hint. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> oh, man, oh, Michael's shit, family sucks. <laughs> uh, get in the car. Just get in the freaking car. <laughs> so, what's been happening? You know, oh, man. Immediately out of the car. Yeah, I'm not helping you. You're on your own. To be honest. What's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been. It's. It's anyone's guess. Oh, okay. Here they are. Fabian too. Oh, what a treat. Guess we better walk up. Oh, I gotta walk up. Okay. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less. Lifestyle guru and a little bit more. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Shush, hey, woman. Fabian. Michael. Hi, mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is too a picture of holistic well-being. I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh. That's my son. Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? what are you doing? Ah! Ah! I had some really good work there, you dick! My God. There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I want to. I'm meaning to say to you. Look, I just. What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess and he needs you. Yes. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone shut up! I guess we could. Try. All the above. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Uh, yoga? No. <laughs> yoga? No yoga. Uh, I... All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. But what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on. I want one too. Later. All right. Tracy's over at the tattoo parlor. Oh. What? Tracy's okay. Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo, that asshole. What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of, okay, if you know what I mean. Here's the tattoo right. shop. I'm working with Clay Jackson. Talk about high maintenance. Okay. I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe. If you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa, Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is going to have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure. Can't. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, uh, uh. Come on. 
My puck are long behind me, man. Let's do uh the eyebrow. Oh. Pop in a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho! Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ow. Oh, 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 that looks party. Here, let's get rid of this. Oh, my God. Papa Bear. Papa Daddy Bear. What are you going to think about this? Ah. Let's not get the ball. Let's do. I always uh, thought tattoos tramps could chest. be classy. Oh, you butcher. Uh. uh. Look, I didn't mean it. I, uh. He's putting a dig on him. He's putting <laughs> pubic hairs. Ah. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. Oh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can. Oh yeah. I can oh my mirror. smash you over the head with it. Oh, too nice oh, oh, oh. Ah. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. Look, we can work this out. Like men, you know, if you catch my drift. Oh. Oh, no, that's my that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a <laughs> joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. <sighs> yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll like call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. Except for a family that needs therapy. <laughs> My pony. How do I look? I would just take the. I would just take the freaking uh the piercings out, and then be like, I need you to to cover this dick up. To be honest. Are you serious? Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help four dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian? Around the head with a laptop? Oh, yeah, like, pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine batting. To be honest, Karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate you know, it. I am piece of shit. I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He's so up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like your powers of selfishness and rage for like good not an objective universal good but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good fuck yeah awesome let's rob somebody <laughs> do it dad yeah do, do, it. It. do, do it. it enough okay i love that we're getting along but knock it off yeah don't like <laughs> actually rob a liquor store that might like kill the mood fucking therapy let's do that shit hey how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. Let's see as you two are do that toy, shit. You can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. We're doing the dang therapy thing. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again, Michael. I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. <laughs> Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. You know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, 
all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? He's you like, I'm getting paid. They're just figuring it out. You sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. Got a point. I mean, let's I'm doing this shit for the fam. Man. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? <laughs> no way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. <laughs> they were there for three minutes. <laughs> I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. He probably just made like six grand right there. With me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right then. Kids! Jesus. So, will you drive us home? Of course. You know, there was a moment there. I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Ugh. Probably just the meds you rated. Okay. Cathartic. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach. Or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Dang. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Getting or ran through. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. God oh, dang. Stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lines to the FIB, that monster Trevor? There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. no. God, no. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I think so. I think we can make Kids. that happen. Rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. All right. Mission down. What do we got now, Trevor? Yep. How? Oh, I hate. I hate. I, I, I hate this. Morning after the night before. Ooh. Can't stand it. And I'll tell you why. Because now I have to. I have no clothes on. I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere, and I gotta get back to the freaking place. Uh, this is just uh, inconvenient. Is really what it is. All right, so I had a, I, I was Trevor for a little bit, and then um, I, n nothing happened. So I switched to Franklin, and now we're here. Taylor Architect, don't get caught. Okay. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat. Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection. Architect on site. Okay. We just gotta follow this guy without um, having him see us, so. This is super freaking bright right at the moment.
I wonder what I gotta do. Do I gotta, like, hit him or something, or... Or what? Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw-up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. What? Whatever, dude. Oh, he went up, didn't he? Okay. We go in here. Jeez, that's kind of crazy. Oh, look. It's the great RT. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. Probably no one's been like, yo, come do this real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, put us to work. Plans right there. Who's there? Thank you. Leave the construction site. Knocked his ass out. That's what we did. Hey, don't mind me. I have just a, the same briefcase that guy took. Don't 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 worry about it. We're out of here. We are out of here. Pretty sure my car is back here too, isn't it? Pretty positive of this. My car's over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go around. Hell yeah. Go to the gar garment factory. Gotta make them undergarments. Okay. Hey, we're back up to 80 now. Let's see what we can do here. Oh my gosh. See, the thing about this, this game is some of these missions are only like a few minutes long. Like, come here, grab this, take it back. But they do it in a, such a way that, like, it's actually fun. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a cheap... Like... Like, like you know how Fallout 4 we had those missions where it was like, go here, clean this house out of ghouls? And it kinda got boring? Like, this is like, all different. I think it's what made Witcher 3 so good. Was this, It was the same missions, but they were like, different locations, different monsters, Different people, even though you were doing the same thing. Ah, so hey, that's my Adam? my input. Of course I do, home. Here, thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. Hey, right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh, oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I think we're gonna if go with fireman. Firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place, and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. 
You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and then get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. What about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. You fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now, Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? I'm gonna go with the fire crew. <laughs> so you do want a mop. Okay, well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. Daryl, uh, I'm not hearing great things, to be honest, but you just might be able to do this with him. Okay, we need one more gunman. Well, should be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. Okay, that all look good to you. You are robbing the FIB here. Permit. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, see it hit you know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay. <sighs> okay. Alright, I think I could probably go ahead and do a... Let me see here. A quick little tiny mission, because I'm, I'm pretty sure the majority of it is just... Like, setup stuff. Uh, this video can be used as a getaway vehicle. Hide it in a discrete location, select the mark way... Okay, so we just gotta, we gotta hide this. All we gotta do is hide this vehicle in a discrete location. The problem is... I don't really know where, and I don't want to be, like, too far away from the place, but... I don't really know where the FIB place is anymore, so I'm probably just gonna put it somewhere and then uh, call it in. The problem is we gotta find somewhere to put it. We could probably go back to the. Uh, I mean, let me think here. Okay, this lo this location can be used for the getaway vehicle. Select the mark getaway location option with phoning uh, Franklin or Lester. Okay, so let's go to contacts. We'll just go to Franklin, Mark Getaway. Got it. Hey, Les, that getaway car is parked where we need it. All right, give me the location. Murrieta Heights. Good work. Call me when the rest of the prep's taken care of, okay? You, you got it. Now we just gotta get the fire truck, and then we are good. Okay, so I just called the uh, 911 and got the fire, fire department. So I'm hoping... I could just take one of their fire fire trucks and call it good there. Problem is, I don't know how long it's gonna take for them to get here. Don't see anybody just yet. The thing about this game is I haven't seen a fire truck at all just driving around. So maybe they don't spawn until this mission, maybe? That's the only thing I can think of. Alright, we're gonna try to grab this thing. I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. Come on. Let me in here. Get the fuck out of here! Get out. Okay, we got one star. I figured we would. So we're gonna try to grab these. Have this get off of us here. All right. Fire department, or fire truck, rather, is a good. Now we gotta take this, 0.7 miles down. And now, we should be, we should be good to do the heist now. 
We have fire truck and a getaway vehicle, so I think that's all we really needed. Let's go ahead and take this to Lester's. And uh, we'll go from there, here. Just right up the road here. I'm pretty sure you can... Okay, so you can spray water. Oops. We gotta go... This way. There we go. Bada bing. Got the fire truck. Boom. Alright guys, this is what we're gonna call episode number... 16? Of the GTA 5 campaign walkthrough. If you guys are make sure you guys do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and share your friends. Or else, guys, my name is Johnny. See you guys next episode.